Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris and this is Skylanders Ring of Heroes. So in this video, I wanted to quickly talk about um, the latest patch, all the new features that have been added to the game, the latest Skylander that's been added and all the events that are focused around this Skylander. And also I'm going to do some summons a bit later on, hopefully to, to get one of these for myself. But first of all, let's talk about what went wrong this morning because someone fucked up. There was a few issues with the, the season pass in that people who were completing their dailies weren't able to collect their points on that. Um, so we went into maintenance um, for, for about, uh, I think it was like six to seven hours. It was quite a long period of time. Um, it didn't affect me too much because I was at work anyway, but it might have affected you. Um, however, we were heavily compensated for this, which was a complete surprise to me. So if you haven't picked up your rewards yet, do that now. I don't know why you wouldn't have. You would have gone in and played this game anyway, because why not? It is Skylanders after all. Um, so let's take a look. Um, I haven't collected them on this account yet. Well, this is their maintenance reward. Thank you for your understanding. Let's go into there. So this is what we get. So from the extended maintenance today, we got 1 million gold, 500 energy, and 30 pickup summon tickets. Now this is huge. This is like quite a massive reward. I've been playing a few of these gacha games and uh, I don't think like any other compensation rewards come even close to this. So uh, well done come to us for, for that reward, much appreciated. One of the things I did notice about this as well, they've changed the banner colour, so whenever you're completing quests, the, the banner that pops up at the top is going to change colour depending on what you've completed those quests for. Uh, so that's kind of a, a cool new feature which I, I like about this, so you know where to go afterwards to, uh, to get your rewards from. So let's take a look at the new Skylander, and you may recognise this uh, this guy from from the episodic missions. Uh, so this is Flameslinger, a powerful fire legendary damage dealer skilled with explosions. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna deep dive into this character a little bit later on when hopefully I get one for myself. Uh, but he's looking pretty good. Like we played a bit with him in the episodic dungeons if you've been in that and you've always kind of like wondered when's he coming into the game. Now you can start wondering, he is here and he brings with him some very nice skills to which I think is going to complete a really strong fire team. But anyway, let's go through uh, what we've got with this. So we've got the new Skylander. Now let's go to the summon page and see what's going on there. Um, so we've got the event, we've got the Flame Elf Archery event, which increases Flame Slinger's rate up of acquisition. The pickup events in Skylanders, it says Flame Slinger's rate up. So in these events, this does not increase your chance of getting a legendary. The percentage for getting a legendary is still the same. It's still 2% for a legendary Skylander. However, when you do hit that 2%, when you do pull a legendary Skylander, it's going to give you a 50% chance of pulling Flame Slinger or that specific Skylander out of that pool. So it's described as a 1% chance. 1 chance of getting a, Sky a legendary Skylander and a 1% chance of getting the specific uh, pickup legendary Skylander. So 2% in all. So you get 2% to get a legendary still. Same as what you do from the premium summons. So the rate of getting a legendary is still the same. Just from that pool, you've got a 50% chance of getting the specific legendary. Um, so yeah, so we've got this event. Um, as usual, kind of expected when you get new Skylander, they're going to have this uh, this pick up summon event and now we've got the free photo tickets we can kind of get a head start and trying to get this okay and then let's go into the events associated with that so if we go to the events page we are gonna have a uh, summon event so the summon event is same as what you've seen before with like the smash it summon uh, summon 120 times and if you don't get that legendary then you get a free one at the end well this kind of like uh, goes in line with that so on your way to getting 120 summons, you're going to get some rewards along the way. Uh, so if you go all the way down to 120 summons in the time that's given, we've got 14 days in this event. That's going to give you 20 extra summons, 20 extra pickup summon tickets, and a few other rewards as well, which is kind of nice. And then the second one, which is the Flame Slinger promotion. And this is the same again with the Smash Hit one. This is going to give you rewards for each time you uh, acquire a Flame Slinger from summons, which is going to give you some nice rewards. If you get lucky, if you get really lucky, you can get duplicates of this while this event's going on, and he gets uh, much higher quality rewards from this one. So you're going to get 40, 40 more pickup summon tickets if you get all the way down to the bottom, uh, including some legendary skill ups and some legendary awakening stones, and also some uh, five super boost keys if you manage to get six Flame Slingers, which. Unless you're dumping money into this game, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, so we've got these two events. Um, and this is... Um, I was going to post a summoning guide video. But this is what I was saying about... Uh, 
um, I was mentioning this in that video, when I post it you'll be able to see, always go for the premium summons, except with the exception of when an event comes up where they've got more than <clears throat> more than one event associated with that. So this is uh, an example of that, because um, going into this you're going to get a lot more rewards and a lot more summons, a lot more chances of legendary Skylanders um, while you're doing this event. One of the things you won't be able to do is you won't be able to acquire the light or dark Skylanders, or you're just going to be able to acquire more of the normal ones, the regular ones, and also get the new one and more buffs. Um, okay, so that's the events around those. Now let's talk a little bit. Let's have a look at the Sky Pass. <sighs> okay, Sky Pass. <laughs> So um, a lot of games kind of incorporate this this seasonal pass into their games, um, and this is no different. You're going to get a free version and a paid version. I haven't bought some of this. On my main account, I've actually bought the premium pass. It costs £20. So we're going to go over what you get from this. But first of all, let's take a look at the uh, the involvement with Flameslinger in this pass. Um, so if we go to the missions, you can see we've got all our daily stuff here. Let's just collect all these, go up a few levels. Um, so you got uh, dailies, which I've all done which I've completed and just collected. And then you've got weeklies. And then after the weeklies, you have missions involving Flameslinger. So this is kind of encouraging you to go for that Skylander, to level him up, to evolve him. And then you're gonna get more points to that uh, to add to your pass. Okay, so we've got 27 days of the season. Um, and within the season, we've got levels to go in our pass. Now with the free version, you stop getting rewards at level 30 which is 1,350 points. And then if you've got the paid version, you're gonna keep on getting rewards until level 40. Uh, so let's take a little look at some of the rewards that you're gonna get for this. Way up the two, is it worth getting the premium or not? So the free version, the normal version for this, is gonna net you in total 1 million gold, five pickup summon tickets, five heroic skill up stones, uh, two heroic awakening stones, and one heroic evolutionary splendor. And that's a max level 30. You're gonna get all those rewards just for, just for playing the game. Um, so basically just carry on doing your dailies as you will normally and you're going to get this stuff anyway. So for the paid version, for the premium Sky Pass, you're going to get all the stuff you would in the, in the free version that I just mentioned, plus, plus some additions. So this takes you up to level 40, 2,000 points in total. So for the premium Sky Pass, you're going to get 1 million gold, 5 legendary skill up stones, 200 gems and 20 pick up summon tickets. Now. Uh, so I've done a little bit, of, uh, a little digging around. I went to the shops and stuff to see, kind of, if there was anything that was equivalent to this, um, and there wasn't really for what you were getting here. Um, so it kind of seems like it's the same value as what these guys that value these items at anyway. So it seems to be kind of like around the same value that if they were to put this in a package, you'd probably get this amount of stuff for it. Um, but also something else to know that the value of this stuff is pretty much the same as what we got in our compensation uh, maintenance compensation rewards so they pretty much gave us the, the premium pass when they gave us those rewards I mean you don't get uh, 200 gems but you get 500 energy and that's more than what you could buy uh, with those you get 20 premium tickets summon tickets we got 30 so kind of the only thing that we didn't get is the five legendary skill up stones, but we got a few other things that would have covered that anyway. So yeah, pretty much the same value as what we got in the compensation uh, package we got. So yeah, not too bad at all. So that's a very nice reward that we got today. Just to make note of this as well, there is an option to kind of uh, to spend gems to level up to the next stage. Do not do this. This is an absolute, this is a complete waste of gems. A complete waste. You're not going to need to do that at all. You know, we've got, we got 28 days to get all the way down to whatever level of uh, pass you've got. And, you know, it's pretty doable. So don't waste your gems and get level, level, leveling <laughs> to enhance your levels on this uh, pass journey. It's not going to give you any benefit whatsoever apart from lose your gems. Um, okay, so that is the battle pass the sky pass um, okay so let's just quickly go into some of the other things they've also added to the game one of those is going to be the uh the new ranking page so this is something that kind of wasn't getting mentioned too much but there's a new little symbol in the top uh top left of the screen that's kind of like a little uh, cup so if you click on that it's going to take you to a separate page so uh this is just going to give you like a kind of ranking area it's going to tell you when everything resets when everything get, gets ranked so acquired points Stay tuned for battle power ranking. 
So there's a, a guild ranking page as well. But yeah, just a little bit more in extra information, I guess. So is this the one that I'm on? Am I even on here? Am I like 100? I think I'm like 100 and something. Yeah, I'm not even on that. My rank's 169. I've gone down to my defense is awful. Um, so yeah, so that's the ranking page. If you're interested in that stuff, there's a whole page for it. So you can see what's going on there. So yeah, so there's one more thing that's been added to this, and that's the purchase uh, reward events. This is kind of hidden away a bit more in the events tab. Uh, down here, 100% guaranteed purchase reward event. So this is for anyone who's got loads of money to splash around and wants to buy packs in the game. Uh, so what this is, is from the 17th until the 24th of February. You can, uh, any purchases you make on the in the game are going to give you some rewards. So you get five pickup summon tickets um, will be given for your first purchase. And then you will be getting some more pickup summons for anything else you purchase uh, from then on up to $300 accumulated purchase. So it looks like you're only going to get these at the end or when you reach the $300. Um, so I'm going to ignore this. I I'm not into this kind of stuff. But, you know, if you're interested in putting money into this game, then feel free to do that and get some extra pickup summons right now let's do some summoning i'm on my auto cam right now then i'm gonna head over to my main and summon someone there and hopefully we can get this uh <laughs> flame slinger on there so let's give this a go hopefully gets get lucky with this there is maybe like one or two heroics that was pretty bad hopefully we get something with these okay nice let's keep this party going very nice Over. Okay, nice. Uh, so yeah, we didn't get one on this account. Okay, I'm gonna switch over accounts and do the same on the other one. Uh, okay, so here we are. Let's see if we can get on this one. We're getting uh, 30 more summons on here. Let's go. Let's get this. We got her fully super boosted now and stink bomb. So that's that's good. We got two nice super boosts from these three uh three tickets. Uh, smash it from that. So yeah, new ally. Nice. Yeah, another heroic super boost. Oh, straight into it. We got it. Nice. And this is with the free ones as well. So, pretty, pretty impressive. We got Flame Slinger. Very, very nice. Uh, okay, I'm not getting someone anymore on that. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, we got them. So we got like quite a few nice ones from that. And these were just the free tickets that we got. So this is exactly what they were meant to be used for. Uh, I didn't get Flame Stinger on my alt account, but I did get it on my main account, uh, which is what I brought about the, uh, the Sky Pass for. So I'm going to get the benefits from from upgrading this guy as well. Um, and I also got Scratch, uh, one of the new additions from the last uh, from the last kind of summoning event. Uh, so I didn't have them before. So let's go through these really quickly. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say, if you are a free-to-play player, um, you've used your tickets and you need to get Flame Slinger, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Because, I mean, you're going to get this guy eventually. And he's one of those uh, Skylanders that is going to take a while. Uh, is going to take a while to level up, especially if you're working on other Skylanders at the minute. He's going to take a lot of resources to get maxed out. And I kind of feel like he's got a niche with a fire team. I don't think it's going to be as powerful on his own as a DPS. And we're going to look at his skills in a, in a little bit. So yeah, I mean, Flame Slinger is new and exciting, but free to play, don't worry about it. Don't waste all your gems, doing all this stuff. And, you know, if you didn't get any free tickets, then my advice will be to stop there because you can get into that pattern of trying to get more of these. And you just, you know, it's only going to happen if you get really lucky that you're going to get loads of duplicates during this event without spending too much, <clears throat> too many gems on the event and putting money into the into the game. Let's uh, dive into some of the skills for this. Uh, so let's go to this one first, Scratch. This is a new one for me, so I haven't got this one first. So let's take a look at Scratch. Okay, A1, Enraged Charge, inflicts 41% of attacker's damage to one enemy four times and grants a diminished effect for two turns with a 30% chance whenever you attack accurately. Uh, very nice, two mana, two turn cooldown, one endurance, and a chance for diminish effects. Uh, weak spot located. 
Inflicts 59% of attacker's damage to an enemy two times. Grants the evasion rate down 15% effect and defense down 10% effect for two turns each whenever you attack accurately. Able to put the enemy, to enemy in knockdown status. Uh, this is a nice all round skill. Uh, two mana, three turn cooldown, three endurance, and the knockdown. Uh, look of the claw, or look of claw, grants random beneficial effect times two on yourself for three turns. If the enemy falls into the break or knockdown status when you, with your attack, additionally increases your attack by 25% when you attack the enemy with a critical hit. That's uh, so nice, you gave me one again. Been a lot of crit up on this uh, Skylander to get that extra 25% additional attack benefit and also effect accuracy. So yeah, you can be wanting to go for attack, crit rate, effect accuracy, mainly for this guy. Um, and leader skill, increase your evasion rate by 30% in battle. Additionally, grants the crit rate up 10% effect on yourself for two turns. Your HP is 40% or below when your turn begins. Increase the evasion rate of wind element allies by 20% in battle. So, you know, not uh, a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice Skylander. My opinion is not gonna be doing like there. This guy might be worth a build just to see how he does. But anyway, that's uh, that's scratch. Let's move on to the big prize. The big prize is Flame Slinger. And I've got one. I can slowly start to work on these. I'm not like I've just pulled this, but I'm not gonna work on this straight away just because I'm working on other stuff. And I haven't got my other ones built up to complement this either. So let's take a look at Flame Slinger's skills and see. Well, really, if it's worth it. So let's go to the first skill, Rain in Fire Arrows. So this targets all enemies. Inflicts 14% of attackers damage to all enemies four times and grants the explosion effect for three turns with a 25% chance each whenever you attack accurately. Uh, so this has the potential to put explosion on all enemies four times. I mean, it's a low attack, it's a low percentage, but boost just starts up. You'll be able to hit this quite a lot of the time. Um, okay, so that's three mana, three turn cooldown, zero endurance. Okay, second skill, flame arrow. Inflicts 90% of attacker's damage to one enemy and decreases the turn duration of explosion effect on the target by two turns with a 40% chance when you attack accurately. Additionally, inflicts 40% of attacker's damage to one random enemy additionally if you possess two plus debuff effects. Um, three mana, two turn cooldown, two endurance. This is gonna be reducing the time of the explosion on there. Uh, energy Explosion Arrow, this is a charge skill, so it inflicts 150% of attacks damage to one enemy. Uh, additionally, the attack will, in will increase by 20% if the target possesses the explosion effect. Able to put the enemy in knockdown status, so this attack will always land as an accurate attack. Okay, charge time, one, one turn for charge, three mana, three turn cooldown, four endurance, and knockdown. So not two bad skills, let's have a look at the passive. Increases your effect accuracy by 25%. Um, additionally, it grants the defense penetration rate by 10% effect for three turns if an ally falls into the break or knockdown status, excluding yourself. Okay, so it's already giving you some buffs there. The effect accuracy up by 25% and the defense penetration by 10%. So this kind of seems separate. This seems separate things like increases your effect accuracy by 25% as your passive. And that's a full stop, so that says to me that your accuracy is increased by 25%. And then additionally, you get defense penetration by up by 10% if an ally falls in the break or knockdown status. And then we've got the leader skill. Grants the explosion countdown effect on the target with a 22% chance if the enemy falls into break or knockdown status with your attack. And for everyone else, grants the explosion countdown effect on the target for 10% chance if the enemy falls into the break or knockdown status with an ally's attack. So yeah, I kind of, um, I feel like this guy <coughs> is kind of made to complement your other fire team members, uh, such as Smolder Dash, such as Spitfire and uh, Ember. Yeah, a nice team up together with these. This will, this will be like for pure attack, pure explosive damage attack team. And then you could throw in the uh, fire pole Master in there as well for extra attack. <laughs> and that would be like a uh, kind of insane, kind of all out uh, nuke team. Like yeah, your ultimate bomb team. Um, but yeah, that is Flame Slinger. If you, uh, <laughs> if you think I should build this guy right now and kind of set him up in a team, let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see that. Or what are your thoughts on Flame Slinger? Let me know about that too. 
Uh, so that's going to be it for me in this video. So thank you very much if you made it this far. And um, yeah, if you like this content, please click that like and subscribe buttons, ring that notification bell, and good luck with your summons. I hope you get as lucky as me. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Take care. See ya.